Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing great. I think that, uh, I hope that you are off for the holidays, uh, just as I am. And so what are you gonna do on the holidays if you got nothing better to do? Print up a baby Yoda. He's so cute. Yeah, and uh, I will leave a link and I'll probably show a video right now of me 3D printing it. And it's, uh, it was a cute print, so thought I'd do it. It's, it's, it's quite large. I'm gonna try and paint it up with contrast paints. See how that goes. There's not a lot of colors on Yoda. So this will be a quick paint job. Um, the base says, um, what you seek is seeking you. I don't remember that from The Mandalorian, but uh, I, I've watched every episode. If you don't know who Baby Yoda is, uh, just stop watching and go watch The Mandalorian. Splurge over the holidays and, and get yourself uh, Disney Plus. Um, even if you got the free trial, you could you could get down all the episodes uh, in time. So, all right, so that's Baby Yoda. We're gonna paint him up with some contrast paints. Okay, let's jump into painting this guy. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint his clothes, but I want to darken that up a little bit, um, except for the trim that goes around. So the large majority of his his uh, robe are. I don't know what that is, onesie, uh, I guess. So I'm gonna paint this all except for the trim pieces. Uh, this really dark brown by Citadel, uh, Cinegor Brown. And I'm, not, I'm just gonna take it right out of the uh, pot. Get a nice dollop on there. Okay, with the Synagor Brown done, I am going to move on. Still drying a little bit, I'm gonna move on anyway, um, to Skeleton Horde. All right, so I was gonna go over the trim pieces with Skeleton Horde. I don't like it. Um, it didn't look right over top of the gray. I didn't think it would uh, be as bad as what it was, but it was bad, so it's just me not knowing. Um, but I'm going to paint all the trim white and then do Skeleton Horde, and it should come out to that nice sandy color that uh, I'm kind of going for. All right, so I'm gonna use uh, this um, Corax White by Set It All. Okay, so we're gonna wait for this white to dry. I will move on to the green. Again, I'll come back with snake biter, I think, snake biter uh, leather, and give it that sandy color. But uh, for now, green. Um, yeah, let's put some green on this guy. Contrast orc flesh. I try and avoid the um, the eyes. Those are going to be black anyway, but there's no point in getting green there. And there you have it. Green on Yoda. Baby Yoda. Well, I waited for it to dry up a bit, but uh, I think you can see that it's quite dark, and so I had some of this Americana paint sitting around. It's just that cheap stuff, and I use it for terrain and 3D prints and stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna give it a quick dry, heavy dry brush on the brown with this to lighten up those colors. The green is starting to come down to a color um, that's okay. I'll have to dry brush that a little bit as well because it's quite dark. Um, and it's not as contrasty as I like. And so I'm starting to think that maybe contrast paints. Now, nah, what I'm starting to think that I shouldn't have <laughs> did this in gray. Um, 
uh, primer. I should have did it in white uh, like I normally do. So, all right, well, we'll we'll, uh, we'll fix it up with some dry brushing and lighten the colors up, lighten the ears up inside and, and uh, lighten this uh, tunic up, this tunic. Anyway, it's uh, Mushroom by Americana. And start going across the grain here, like so. You can see I'm doing a quite heavy brush, dry brush on this guy. Okay, so I hope you can see that. That is a super heavy mushroomy color dry brush on top of the dark brown that I used uh, the contrast paints. So on top of that, I'm going to put uh, sort of like a wash of snake bite, or sorry, of skeleton horde uh, contrast paint. And that should kind of take that whitish color out of there and make it look a little bit more um, a lighter brown. Contrast snake biter. So I'm gonna hit all of this. And I'm also gonna go back over this color. So all of his clothing. Okay, so it's coming along now. Uh, this just has to dry. Uh, I like it the little bit more grungy looking, that dirty kind of grunge look. And then um, I'm not crazy about Not sure I'm crazy about the color still of that. It looks starting to look a little bit, uh, I don't know what. I do like the color starting to get better though because uh, that's more of that sort of tan color that it was supposed to be. And this color just didn't turn out that way. I have one other thing I can try and that is contrast leather over top, which I might try next. So I'll let that dry and then we'll get back to it. All right, so before we move on, got to paint the eyes. Going to do use this uh, contrast black Templar. And there's the eyes painted in. So, pretty nice. Okay, I put a little bit of white Sort of all over the model <laughs> and just to tone it down a bit and to brighten up the uh, colors they ended up being quite dark um yeah and so this uh sort of laid them out washed them out a little bit though uh, but i like it a lot better starting to get to where i wanted it to be and i think i will darken this up a little bit more a little brownie i'll use a brown tone on here now uh, so that snake bite leather probably Anyway, let's try that and we'll, uh, we'll see if that fixes the model. Yeah, I really like that color better. The brown that's starting to come out. So there he is with snake bite leather on. Um, I think that actually looks a lot better. The last uh, version looked sort of like a um, a worn leather jacket, and now it's a nice a nice brown with uh, some really nice highlights underneath now, and the the um, the shadows are deeper. 